show me the money. Did you know that in Australia we spend $345 million a year? $345, you heard it correctly. Mm. Million dollars a year on our pets. Oh. That is a lot of coin there, uh, Bridget G. Clone. I know you alone spend about $100 million a year on Rappi. I absolutely do, and will continue to. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Uh, I've got no idea how much we spend on our two cats at home, but a man who is going to save us some money when it comes to spending on our pets, Chris Bondon from Bills to Pay. Good morning, hey, Chris. Good morning, Bridget and Lemo. Uh, now, we certainly do outlay a lot of cash on our pets, and one thing uh, that we perhaps don't give a lot of consideration to is pet insurance. So how can pet insurance help us out? Yeah, well, pet insurance has been around in Australia for quite some time. Um, and what that does is, is minimise the risk and cost and cash flow out the door when yep. it comes to your pet being ill as a result of an accident or illness. Hmm. Yeah, because we've heard that people have spent, you know, people have spent tens of thousands of dollars yeah. on their pets. And the thing is, you can't decide whether I should... I mean, it's very hard to decide, should I get it, should I not? How are you to know if something's going to happen to your dog? It all comes down to asking yourself, well, what are my pets associate, associating itself with? So how many times are you walking your dog? How many times is it uh, associating, associating itself with another pet in the backyard? So if Rufus is in the backyard with Jack, <laughs> yeah. um, what is the chances of Mike Tyson coming in and breaking an ear off or ripping an ear and... Yeah, um, but, then there's, but then there's the undisclosed things. Like, for example, my dog had to have half his stomach out because of cancer. Oh. Um, it cost $5,000, which yeah. thankfully I didn't have to pay. Mm. But, um, you know, that's the sort of thing. There's no way I could have known that was going to happen. No. Yeah, well, it's important that you protect yourself from things like that. Yeah. But it has to be, a, you can't have a precondition on a uh, history on the dog in terms of the insurance. No. So if you've got the cancer already, it's hard to go and insure yourself yeah. um, for the dog for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's why I'm saying that's why you've got to do it anyway. That's my point. I would do it anyway because Correct. you just don't know what's around the corner. People can afford general immunisation costs of you know, $40 a year, but yeah. when it comes to $3,000, that hurts the budget and, and people can't oh, afford yeah. that. No. There's a, a sad stat that I came across. Well, 6,000 saveable pets put down each year um, because pet owners can't afford to pay the oh. vet bill. Oh, really? Wow. Oh, well, there, well, that's reason right there to get yourself some pet insurance. Oh. But so... But, how much does it cost and how can we save money on the pet insurance? Yeah, well, it's not cheap. It's not a dollar a week or anything like that. It's it, between 35 and $50 a month. Uh, yeah. And that could save you, you know, three or $4,000 a year if something happens um, yeah. in terms of an operation of some sort. But mm. to spend $500, I think you can put that in your budget. But when it comes to $4,000 in one lump sum, it's harder to pay that money. Mm. Yeah, right. So the recommendation from you is to absolutely get pet insurance because uh, it'll save you money in the long run. Minimise your risk. Because the last thing you want to do is to see your pet put down because you can't afford the, uh, the vet bills. Can you get pet life insurance? <laughs> well, there's, there's, there's three types of insurance when it comes to pets. So there's the accident, yeah. there's illness, and then there's comprehensive. Wow. Oh. So you can pick and choose, and obviously it will uh, impact how much you pay on your premium, yeah. and then it becomes down to how much excess do you want to pay when it comes to the accident occurring. Yeah, right. right. And can you get specifics as well, like dental, physiotherapy? <laughs> I don't think it goes that far, Lemo. <laughs> alternative, alternative medicines. <laughs> acupuncture, breaking. acupuncture, that's right. All right. Right there. Well, Chris Bonner from Bills to Pay, thank you very, very much. Uh, you've been saving us thousands of dollars so far this year, mm. and we'll speak to you again next week. Thanks, Bridget. Thanks. Right. Start moving forward in life. Talk to Bills to Pay now. Head to billstopay.com.au.